I want my Hare Krishna character to have a halo behind his head. So I came up with a complicated idea that didn't work, that involved a gear ratchet that uh, would swing left and right and it would only cause the uh, halo to spin one direction, but it turned out it had too much friction and just was too complicated. And then I went to this much simpler method. I got a piece of foam core poster board. On one side I put a nice piece symbol on the back. On the front, I've taken a bolt, I dug out inside of the uh, foam core a hole for the head of the bolt, took another piece of foam core, glued up against it, so now I've got the bolt firmly attached to the back over here. I bought this $20 piece of perforated sheet metal, painted it gold on one side, see the hole pattern there? And the other side, I placed up against several pieces of poster board. And spray paint them so you get the same pattern. Missed a couple of places. So I've got a blue one and a yellow green. So the important thing is that the spots uh, in the background have a good high contrast to be able to see them. So, yeah, and uh, yeah, you'll notice. Maybe, yeah, there you see the one hole that I have cut out is off-center. I started off putting it center and then I would need a weight at the bottom to cause the thing to spin back and forth as I walk from side to side, but of course the obvious is just to move the axle off-center and then you can, let's see, that's a little low. I should mark the right hole to put through. Okay. So when they perfectly line up, you should just see the holes through. Yeah. And the yellow is completely invisible. Got that. Oh, I need, I need a little bit of spacer would help out keep the paper separate so it can move independently. The foam core on the back is solid. Put the nut down on the bolt there. I'll put the middle back on. And I'm going to have this post where the forearm contraption is going to be attached to my back, so this will bolt onto that. And then to the wooden post so it won't be able to swing. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we should have our peace symbol and we should have our halo illusion. On video, yeah, looks like you have to be a certain distance before Okay, up close you can see how all the holes match and then come apart from each other about at this distance. Yeah, there we go. I got a little too much friction. I might have my met my front face and my back face too close together. I might have to come up with some kind of separation there, but that's the halo effect with a nice optical illusion. So that was twenty dollars for the perforated metal and uh, of course poster board and foam core poster board are cheap enough. So. And like I say, hopefully when I walk we'll have this nice effect.